This is Alive and now we're gonna do an update video on my current Shadow Man collection. I did this review over it a couple months ago, but uh, this is just to go over all the stuff that I have now. But in the other video I covered um, all of these, all of this series of comics, which is the um, 92-93 series, which I've had all of them, so everybody knows that. And then I have the PlayStation 1 game. That's our cover another video. I covered the uh, complete in box uh, Shadow Man for the N64. I still do not have the Dreamcast, so that's the one that I need. And uh, I already did that over there, which is the uh, Shadow Man 2 strategy guide. Okay, so for the current stuff right now on eBay, I found this for like 25 bucks. It was not that expensive at all. So I thought that was a really, really good deal. They didn't really know what they had or whatever. This is the, the just the PC box. I've always wanted this. It's still got the embossed front. And you open it and then it has all of this on the inside. And a lot of these are like screenshots of stuff that was like pre-production, kind of like that picture. There was no dead wings in the asylum. Stuff like that, but I thought I thought it was pretty cool. And it's the only one that has a, uh, is this. But yeah. And another cool reason is like, I don't know why it was 25 bucks. Because you open it. Usually I couldn't find this one any cheaper than like 80 or something insane. It's got the, the manual. It does have the PC controls in it. Because every manual they had to write, write it different for the uh, the different controls. I assume the map is in this. This is still sealed. That's what's cool about it. So I don't know what all's in this. It might just be a. Uh, normal like this is since there's no cover I don't know I don't collect PC big box games this is the only one I've got right now but uh there you go sealed 25 bucks but that was a pretty, super good deal gotta find it used gotta find people that don't know what they have basically to get a good enough deal on that I finally got the strategy guide I mentioned in the other video that I didn't get the strategy guide because they didn't ship it because I don't know it got lost in the transit or whatever I don't know but I bought another one. I think I got this for like 12 bucks. Which is super cool. Because I've always wanted this for the, uh, the stuff like the profiles and all the artwork and stuff in it. I can do this. Tells you about all the items. We're gonna skip ahead. It tells you all the enemies, which is extremely cool. So you get the actual names of them. All the different sisters, which is only in the PC version, maybe the Dreamcast. I think pretty well the Dreamcast is the PC version, but I don't know because I've barely even played any of it. We got the maps. And all the super description of what to do. And there's neat little uh, stuff about the the people who made the game and stuff like this. Talking about the Book of Shadows. Here's the map, but 
like the actual big version of it. Here's the interview with the people who made the game. And you get the uh, sketches at the end. Which is cool. But yeah. Really, really good uh, strategy guide. I'm pretty sure that's the only one they ever made for this for this game, since it is for all three versions. If you're planning on buying this, uh, if you're buying it for the N64 version, there's a lot of places that aren't there because that version's cut down. There's a few few things that are like not not in it, like certain rooms and things. Um, there is uh, there's the cheat codes, which it's really vague on where they're at. So there you go. Cheat codes are different spots too for the PC versus the uh, N64. And I got another uh, box with that strategy guide also. Just another box, nothing in it. So I keep that just to have a million boxes, I guess. Um, since I've done this, there was a uh, local comic shop called Amazing Action Comics that moved in, uh, kind of sort of by my house, and I asked him, did he have any Shadow Man stuff, because I was asking for the Dreamcast game, and he's like, oh, I've got the comics. That's the only place in my, in my neighborhood that actually had almost all of this series, and had a ton of these, which I already did the review on some of these I got off of mycomicshop.com. But I got, like, way, way, way more since then. So, yeah. But I actually have started reading this. Yes, it is worth buying all of them. No, I don't have all of them, but I have a ton of them. So I write them up to a certain point, so you get to meet Master Dark and figure out who the heck he is, and all this crap. These are all the Jack Boniface comics. These are the old, old ones, the 1991, maybe 1990. So I'm gonna collect all these before I start collecting uh, the new ones. But yeah, those. There's a ton of them. That's not all of them. I'm missing about six of them. Out of the whole set. Yeah, this one's number 40. That's not... That's not all of them. So there's at least 40 of them. I don't remember how many there is. And then this one, which is the, um... The Shadow Man yearbook. It says, from the pages of Shadow Man number zero. So it kind of tells you origin story. It's talking about zero as in, a. Uh, that shiny one that I have. So that's a bonus one in there. That one's really, really thick. And another bonus thing that I've got, I've got one of those Valiant Readers that basically tells you about every single uh, Valiant character. Like, if you want to read more about the comics so I can figure out like who's who and what's what. That's what that is. I've got number zero of uh, Bloodshot, I also got it at that same uh, comic shop. And all these comics were, depending on, and most of them were like a dollar a piece. Unless you knew they were worth something, then some of them were like seven a piece on the Shadow Man ones. But yeah, I got this. So that's really cool, because I'm probably going to start reading Bloodshot next. I don't know, it just depends. Then I've got these few that I got from Veg Stock. Still. I got the uh, Exo Man of War, which is number zero. The reason I got this one is I'm looking for the issue that has Shadow Man's first debut in it. The Jack Boniface Shadow Man. I want to say it's issue number like four or five. I don't know. I know it's going to be impossible to find. But that's where he originated from. And I know nothing about this guy. So uh, I don't know if it's any good. Put in the comments if it's any good. That's pretty well my collection. Once I finish all the Jack Boniface ones, then then I'm gonna start collecting these. Let me get this to focus. The 1999 series, which these are, this is on uh, 
mycomicshop.com, which they have a lot of different variants and stuff. So that's what, like, low printing, like maybe there's only five in existence, that's why it's such a crazy price. Usually they have good prices on this. But, um, they're all, like, mint and, like, you know, graded and all this crap, so I don't want to buy them for that. Especially that one, it's crazy. So if you hop over here to eBay, you can get all of them for, like, 40 bucks. So, yeah. But, uh, rate, subscribe, and I will, uh, Talk to you guys later. Bye.